The improved indigenous chicken is also known as an improved Kienyeji chicken in Kenya. It is a breed made by crossing different local or Kienyeji chickens from Kenya. The result is a bird that matures faster and is high producing compared to the traditional Kienyeji bird. Kienyeji chickens are the most common type of poultry among smallholders in Kenya. This is because they are 1. Easy to get 2. Easy to maintain 3. High in demand What will improved Kienyeji chicken provide? 1. Meat for consumption 2. Eggs 3. Money from selling the chickens or eggs Kienyeji chicken is an easy source of income for women and youth in rural areas as one can start with just a few chickens and add more slowly. Welcome to the world of improved Kienyeji chicken, a game changer for smallholder farmers in Kenya. These birds grow faster, produce more eggs, and thrive on less feed. In this video, we'll show you how to raise these chickens for maximum profit, from choosing the right breed to building the perfect coop. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more farming tips and insights. Hit the like button and share this video to support our community of farmers. Let's unlock the secrets of successful Kienyeji chicken farming together. Why keep improved Kienyeji chicken? 1. They need less feed than layers and broilers. 2. They eat kitchen waste and leftovers. 3. Chicken meat and eggs are good sources of protein, especially for children and nursing mothers. 4. They are a good source of income. 5. They are easily available in rural areas and near urban centers at affordable prices. In Kenya, there are different breeds of improved Kienyeji birds. Here are five best breeds to choose from. First, Kari Improved. This breed was developed by the Kenya Agricultural and Livestock Research Organization, K-A-L-R-O. It will grow fast, to a weight of 1.5 kilograms in five months. They will lay around 200 to 270 eggs per year. 2. The Kuroila Bird With this breed, you easily convert the kitchen and farm waste into meat and eggs. They are a fast-growing breed. They lay around 150 eggs per year. Third, Rainbow Rooster. This is a fast-growing, multicolored bird. It was bred by a research and breeding farm in India. They have to be fed commercial layer feeds to lay 160 to 180 eggs per year. Four, Kenbro Chicken. They have red feathers. They grow fast. If kept for meat, they can grow to a weight of 1.5 kilograms in just three months. If kept for eggs, they will start laying in just six months. They lay around 200 eggs per year. Sinkiem Sasso. This are multicolored birds which grow slowly. They will lay around 150 to 200 eggs with good management. Mostly raised for meat and is left free to eat grass, worms and insects with little supplementation. There are three main ways of keeping improved Kienyeji chickens. 1. Free and semi-free range. Free range is where the chickens are left free to eat worms, insects, grasses and leaves around the farm. They are then sheltered at night. Semi-free range is where birds are put in an enclosed place for some time and given food. They are then allowed to roam outside to eat worms, insects, grasses, and leaves around the farm. This is my personal favorite, so you know. Second fold unit system. This is also known as a chicken tractor. Birds are kept in a small, movable house made out of wire mesh, big enough for the chickens to move around. This house is moved from one spot to another every day. This system is best suited to small-scale operations and chicken vendors. Third, small-scale confined system. This is also known as the deep litter system. 
The chicken house is made of concrete floors, but covered with litter, wood shavings that is, to make birds feel comfortable. The house is big to allow the chickens to move freely. Food and water are provided inside the house. It is expensive, but the best for commercial chicken farming. Chicken equipment, both drinkers and feeders, should always be kept clean and well maintained. This will prevent cases of diseases in your chicken. These are the equipments required to raise 100 chicks comfortably. Feeders One feeder for every 50 day old chicks, cleaned and disinfected, all with fresh starter feed. Drinkers One drinker for every 50 day old chicks cleaned and disinfected regularly and with fresh water always. Use 6 liters or 10 liters drinkers. What are features of a good drinker? Has a twist lock system and a hanger or carry handle. Easy to fill, easy to clean. Drinkers come in different sizes 1 liter, 6 liters and 10 liters. Choose as it fits. Litter. Use wood shavings or rice husks, not sawdust as chicks can choke. Spread evenly to a depth of 5 to 10 centimeters. The litter should be soft and dry. Heat source. Ensure that you have a source of heat, like a brooder Jico, and it is working well. Maintain a good temperature for your birds. Light. The idea is to provide 23 hours of light for the first seven days, as this dramatically improves chick development. Brooder guards, round plywood is used to make the brooding area 1.5 meters squared per 50 chicks. The area is cleaned, disinfected, and with well-spread, fresh litter. Cover this area with paper and remove after three days. Looking to dive even deeper? Get our full expert guide packed with all the details. It's a cluckin' great deal. WhatsApp us at the number in the description and secure your copy today. Sourcing for chicks. Here are three ways to get good and healthy chicks. One, hatching own chicks. Mother hen sits on eggs for 21 days to keep them warm until they hatch. This is a natural process. She can sit and incubate her own eggs or those of another hen. It's the simplest way of hatching a small number of eggs. I prefer giving one hen only eight eggs to hatch. You have almost 100% hatch rate. Two, artificial brooding. Incubating machines are used to hatch eggs into chicks. It's mostly used by farmers who are in the business of selling day old chicks or keeping many birds. It hatches many eggs at once. Three, buying day old chicks from hatcheries. You can buy day old chicks from hatcheries directly and start brooding the chickens on your farm. Identify registered hatcheries or chick nurseries to buy day old chicks. Select hatcheries that vaccinate chicks against Marek's disease. Brooding is a period right after the chicks have hatched and special care and attention is needed to support their health and survival because Hatch chicks can't control their own body temperature in the first weeks. You need to provide extra heat, otherwise chicks will be too cold and may not eat well, drink enough, or may even die. 1. Traditional brooding. Here brooding is done by the mother chicken. She covers the young ones with her wings to keep them warm. 2. Artificial brooding. When there is no mother hen, to look after her chicks, you need to set up an artificial brooder. During the first two to three weeks, chicks need to be kept in a brooder as they cannot control their own body temperature yet. You need to give them special care to support their health and survival. Artificial heat helps keep chicks stay warm until the feathers grow. Heat can be provided by using a brooding Jico, gas, or electricity. Remember, without the extra warmth, chicks can easily feel cold and may not eat or drink enough and their digestive organs may not develop properly.
Improved Kienyeji chickens need feed that contains the following. One, energy. Second, protein. Third, vitamins. Four, minerals. Five, water. Feed requirement is dependent on the age and status of the birds. Chicks, growers, layers, meat birds, and broody hens. There are different types of chicken feed for the different age categories, as I am about to discuss. Chicks below the age of eight weeks. Feed them with chick mash as it provides high protein quantities. Chicks between the age of eight and 18 weeks. Feed them with growers mash to provide a balanced diet so that the chicks can gain weight fast. When the chicks start laying, feed them layers mash. This will provide needed nutrients to improve egg production. Good practices to protect your chicken against disease and enemies. Only allow essential staff to enter the chicken house. Place a foot bath with a disinfectant like cooperside outside the chicken house. Each person working in the house should have their own special pair of gumboots that they wear when entering the house. Remove old litter, dirty bags, and rubbish away from the house. Throw away old feed, as they may have molds or produce toxins. Keep birds of the same age together to reduce disease outbreaks. Ensure no rodents or wild animals can enter the house. Regularly clean and dry all equipment. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe. And hey, if you subscribe today, we might just send you a virtual egg, freshly laid, of course.